How was Michael Porter Jr. not in the Rising Stars game? Some dudes were really mad about not making it. I mean, it is what it is. NBA is a bunch of shit. The NBA can really shit for all I care. Okay, so that was Jackson Hayes and the New Orleans Pelicans. If anyone has a beef about not being a rising star, it's Michael Porter Jr. After a slow start, he's up to 21 minutes per game since January, averaging 12 points and seven boards on a good team. He was probably left out because of that slow start, but Zion was in the game. What is going on? Now, the good thing for Michael Porter Jr., he's guaranteed a playoff spot at this point. He'll have a big role in the postseason, a lot bigger than any of these rookies, and he's probably got the most inspirational story too. In today's video, we're looking at how Michael Porter Jr. went from potential injury bust to a potential savior for the Nuggets. Hey guys, it's Casey Kiernan, host of the AM Hoops YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much for getting this channel to 25,000 subscribers just since the NBA season started. If you don't subscribe, hit subscribe because something like 98% of you guys watch the videos and don't subscribe. Coming out with five quality videos Monday through Friday at six Eastern. Full disclosure, this story is an update from the very first video that I ever did on the channel and there is a lot to talk about with Michael Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. looked like he could be the Derrick Rose of high school recruits. A super talented fan favorite who shot up quick but could have been cut down by injury after injury. Now, adversity, not exactly how you'd describe how it all started for Michael Porter Jr. He rose to the number one basketball recruit in America. Headlines said he was what the basketball world orbits around. Comparisons to LeBron James, seriously. And why not? The numbers didn't lie. He scored over 3,400 points in high school, won championships, and countless awards like McDonald's All-American MVP. The kid seemed unstoppable, but something was brewing behind the scenes that only those closest to him knew about. In an interview with ESPN, Porter admitted he dealt with back pain going all the way back to when he fell sophomore year in high school. I tried to play the next day and it was just sore. There was a lot of compensation going on and my body hurt, but I just kept playing. Eventually, he committed to play college at Missouri. And you can imagine all the hype around his first game. But literally minutes into his debut, he checked out with an ice pack on his hip. So he was in the scores book ready to go and he just said, coach, my leg just, it's not feeling right. So, and that was pretty much it. And see, the day before that game, something happened that not many people talk about. At Mizzou, I kept seeing more chiropractors. I remember one chiropractor did an adjustment and the pain moved from my back to my hips. And I was like, what's going on? And the chiropractor was like, oh, it's new muscles turning on it. And then it stayed with me for like three days. And I noticed my leg getting a little smaller. And I'm like, what's going on? So I tried to jump at practice on my left leg and I couldn't jump as high. And that's when I knew something was really messed up. And that was like the day before our first game against Iowa State. So that was the scariest thing ever. Not long after, he had surgery for a herniated disc. Good. A long rehab process began. Porter admitted there were dark days and he wanted to give up at times. Despite playing in two NCAA tournament games near the end of the year for Mizzou, there were real concerns about Porter entering the NBA draft. Of course, he exuded all the confidence in the world before he went to New York. If healthy without this, could you have been the number one pick in this draft? Yeah, I know without a doubt that I'm, I'm the best. I mean, I played against all these guys. They're all great players, but I'm the best player in this draft. Welcome to the NBA Draft 2018, presented by State Farm in Brooklyn tonight. When draft night came, he didn't feel like the best player in the world. Porter sat and watched. DeAndre Ayton. As guys he played against. Marvin Bagley the third, And was once ranked higher than were picked before him. Trey Young from the University of Oklahoma. Then, finally, the Denver Nuggets took their shot. With the 14th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Denver Nuggets select Michael Porter Jr. from the University of Missouri. Man, all I can say is it's a blessing. You know, I'm not entitled to this. Everything's a blessing, um, and I'm so excited. Um, you know, my path is different, a little different than everybody else's, but I'm gonna make sure that this pick is this organization's best pick they've ever made. Now he said that with a big smile on his face, but the truth is he knew something else was terribly wrong. Porter had sat there in that draft room and waited with even more pain in his back. 
That pain got worse and it required a second surgery. That meant, of course, more rehab and more depressing days. They don't post sad or lonely moments on social media, but Nuggets coach Mike Malone put what rehab is really like into words. Think about everybody in this room, if there's something that you love and it's taken away from you for two years and you can't do it, that's really frustrating. There were some really dark days for him, days where he was down and uh, the training staff, the coaching staff, his teammates, the front office, all went out of their way just to try to help him get through it. And now he's seeing light at the end of that tunnel. That light wasn't the only bright spot of his red shirt year in the NBA. He made progress on the court. He even surprised his mom with a new car. What are we doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Michael. <laughs> <laughs> so things are looking up until a few months before summer league when you guessed it again, another issue. Now this one was a side effect from his back surgeries, a nerve issue called drop foot, which basically means that his foot can't lift all the way and it's sort of dragging. For some athletes, this is career threatening. For others like Cowboys linebacker, Jalen Smith, you can make a full recovery. And in Smith's case, he had serious nerve issues. Uh, he was able to play so well that the Cowboys gave him a fat contract uh, this summer. What was an issue though, was a sprained knee just days before summer league. His assistant coach though, Jordy Fernandez said, do not freak out about this. It's not anything serious, so he'll be back soon on the floor. But the most important thing is what we've seen so far from him and uh, how excited we are. So we're not you know, worried at all about it. The only thing is like you feel bad because the kid has been putting a lot of work and he was excited to play but obviously the most important thing for him is to be ready for the NBA season. Okay, so basically Porter and the team have waited this long, might as well be conservative and wait a little longer, that's fine. And in preseason, he looked great. In four games, he scored 37 points, grabbed 16 rebounds. As you watch him knock down that jumper. So the injury concerns seem to be behind him. And then he had a new concern once the regular season started, his coach, Mike Malone. Porter Jr. was benched in their first game on the road, and then in their home opener, he was introduced and the crowd went crazy. Michael Jr. Now you can see his face there. It's almost like he's saying, look, I, I appreciate the applause, but I'm probably not gonna play tonight. And he didn't play that night or the next night, and fans were getting angry. Look at some of these tweets. Nuggets still ain't played Michael Porter Jr. How's he supposed to compete for Rookie of the Year? Just trade him already. Nuggets, I've been waiting a year to see Michael Porter Jr. So I ask, what? I cannot stress this enough, the f Now it seemed like forever, especially to those fans, but Michael Porter Jr. finally debuted five games into the season. In that first game, he led the team in scoring with 15 points. But it made sense to take the slow approach considering his injury history. But January 2nd is when he really showed for the first time what he can do on an NBA court. He dropped a then career high 25 points against the Pacers. Later that month, another checkpoint. He logged 30 minutes against Golden State with 18 points and 10 rebounds in an overtime win. Then came a 20 and 14 game against Minnesota, 15 and 11 against Milwaukee. Bottom line, Michael Porter Jr. in the month of January became a contributor. That month was the first time he showed consistently the kind of star we thought he could be. Then came another injury in that Milwaukee game actually. This time it was his ankle causing him to miss the final six games before the All-Star break. And it makes you wonder, do the Nuggets have to worry? Do they have a future All-Star who can carry a team? Or is he an injury-prone player who's gonna be the NBA's next big what-if, like Greg Oden or Derrick Rose before him? It was so heartbreaking to see Derrick Rose's journey. He went from injury to injury after his MVP, from team to team. Is that the future for Michael Porter Jr.? The good news for him, at least, is that unlike D. Rose, who needed to carry the Chicago Bulls, the Nuggets can afford to let Michael Porter Jr. rest as long as he needs. But eventually the time will come where he'll need to show that full potential and carry the team. For now though, fans are happy with the start of his career because at one point the whole thing looked in jeopardy. Now he is on the court as a rising star, even if the NBA didn't want to recognize him this season. Support AM Hoops and click subscribe. Don't miss a daily NBA video.